Guys, I'm back. I've been locked out of my account and out of my email and out of everything for a few days, and it has been about to drive me crazy. I miss talking to you guys, and I miss getting your responses and your interactions, and and um, um, thank you to the new subscribers, and I ask you to subscribe today if you can find it in your heart. It will help someone else hear and be encouraged uh, with our little visits, and hopefully my visit will encourage you as well and put a smile on your face and I'd like to share my Christmas story that I've got at the top of my heart. I had just a beautiful blessed, extremely blessed and I don't mean by getting a lot of gifts. I got a lot of love and I'm so grateful for all every hug and every kind word and every meal, every every gift, every everything that I received. It was greatly appreciated and went straight to my heart so I thank you but my little Christmas miracle was that I was on the way to my daughter's to her house and I was going to stop and get 85 cents worth of gas y'all well I pulled up the gas station was closed I was the only one on the property and I couldn't use my debit card because I didn't have enough room on there you know they freeze so much um that's all I know how to tell you. They freeze so much money, and I didn't have that amount of money on my debit card. So there I was. I was stuck. I didn't think I could go much further. I didn't want to call my daughter and ask her to put money on my card because she helps me so much already. And this man pulls up, and he starts pumping gas. Well, I ease up with my car, and I said, uh, Sir, if I give you this change, will you put a dollar's worth of gas in my car you know, with your nozzle, you know, the gas that you've already got going. And uh, he said, sure. I said, now, there's 85 cents here. I just counted it. It's not quite a dollar. And uh, he said, no problem. So he puts his nozzle in my gas tank, um, you know, where you put, pump the gas. And he starts pumping, and we start chatting. And, uh, you know, it don't take very long to do a dollar's worth. <laughs> and I told him, I said, well, I know you've already gone past what we talked about. And then he went on past what I knew was past $5 worth. I said, I know you're going past $5 or more now. And I, I said, that's uh, more than we talked about. And he just kept pumping and kept talking to me. And he was on his way to Ohio, and I was on my way to my daughter's, which is the first time in 13 years. I went to my mother's. I went to my daughter's. I participated in all the family activities and festivities. And um, I got lots of hugs and lots of love, and it just feels so good. Well, it's not the first time now. I went Thanksgiving, that's right. So, But it's the first Christmas. Thanksgiving was the first time that I've been back around my family in the holidays. I've always isolated, stayed at home, and, and I didn't stay home and just cry, but I could not stand the thoughts of celebrating. It just, I don't know how it, it hurts when, you're, when your heart hurts so bad, celebrating, or any, it's kind of like any sudden, you know how a sudden noise startles you? Well, that's, I feel startled the whole time, kind of, sort of, something like that, and it's not enjoyable, and, and it was very stressful to try to make myself get there and do it, and so I just didn't do it, and so I missed out on a lot of years with my family, but I'm here to tell you, y'all, I'm so glad I did have to encourage myself and kind of push myself a little bit at some point and tell myself, now, you know, the blessing you're going to get when you get there. So you go. I had to talk a little bit tough to myself, but I did it, y'all. I did it, and it's been wonderful. So I encourage you, don't give up. Don't quit. Just keep just keep plugging around, along and keep kicking like that little frog in that churn of milk. It's going to turn to butter, and you're going to get out, and you're not going to smother to death anymore. So don't give up. It does get better. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And I know that's a suffering time for those of us who are suffering from losing a loved one uh and it can be divorce y'all divorce is horrific uh, it's it's as bad as death but they're still walking around with that other woman or that other man or that other life that they've gone on without you with and anyways it's horrific so god bless everybody god bless us all god bless us everyone how does little tim say it in the the christmas carol but 
be encouraged, hold on tight, don't give up, keep your faith, everything's going to come out on the other side. I can't say better, but you will be able to do it easier. God bless you.